Hello everyone, welcome to GGN. Today's Wednesday, September 5th, 2012, and I'm Darko. Uh, yesterday I was unable to make videos because my internet was out, and today it was most of the day, and then uh, just uh, recently it just clicked back on, so here I am. <laughs> um, Alright, so uh, we're going to definitely switch gears in this video. We're going to cover what I think is social engineering or cultural subversion. I've t I spoke about this before. It's a tactic that is used by what some believe uh, are either Zionist or communist uh, type uh, strategy that was used um, to um, basically infiltrate a country and bring them down to their knees uh, by demoralizing them and uh, we're in that state right now um, I think we've already been taken over you know before even World War II but this just, just takes us way down to the abyss so um, just a disclaimer you know whatever your sexual preferences that's that's your own thing i'm not saying i think you're going to hell i just i cover it for the from the angle of it's being used uh basically as a social engineering tool so first article i have up survey says fewer people believe in god recent gallup polls shows 59 percent of men and women around the world define themselves as religious a nine percent drop from 2005 says Judaism shows the largest decrease in believers. The Gallup poll also shows that poor, the more poor you are, the more religious you are likely to be, while the bottom 20% of the population in terms of income boasts 66% who define themselves as religious. The top 20% has only 49%. Of the 57 countries who participated in the poll, the top 10 religious countries were Ghana, 96%, uh, Nigeria, Armenia, Fiji, Macedonia, Romania, Iraq, or Iraq, uh, Kenya, Peru, and Brazil. And they actually have a lot of opposition in Africa when they try to push those uh, homosexual programs, along with vaccination programs and circumcision as well. And in Peru and South America, they're very, um, uh, they don't like that uh, open homosexual uh, stuff going on down there as well. And mainstream media likes to push this. This is from ABC News. Atheist summer camp is heaven on earth for non-believers. It's beyond belief. So a nice little cute uh, play on words. Saying the summer camp is for atheists or children of atheists self-described as free thinkers or people not otherwise traditionally religious. So that's cool if you're atheists. You know, it's uh, you don't believe in anything that you cannot uh, t uh, prove, like with tangible, tangible evidence. So, you know, I do kind of respect for that. Um... As far as free thinkers, I consider myself a free thinker. Um, uh, you know, I, I believe in an afterlife. Um, I can feel it. It's about having, uh, you don't need to be able to have to prove it. It's That's what faith is about. Uh, you can feel it, you know, inside you. And, and if you don't have it, then that's fine. You know, I don't criticize people that don't. But, uh, you know, I don't like organized spirituality, such as religion. So I think that was definitely brought to us by the powers that be. The biggest ones that scare me, like I said before, are the nihilists, you know, probably the people that work in black ops and stuff. Army atheists seek faith privileges, so they push this in the military as well as far as the uh, homosexual agenda, such as gay troops, okay to march at gay pride parade in uniform. So, but they also push this. Uh, they want to uh, be have official recognition from the army as a distinct faith group. People look at you differently when you say you're an atheist, and they say it's extremely taboo. You have the Christians appealing the secular European Court of Human Rights don't stand a chance of getting justice from September 4th, 2012. Their persecuted Christians, and or four of them in Britain, are taking their cases to the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, this individual is appealing against her having been sent home by British Airways for wearing a cross while on duty. Shirley uh, Chaplin was moved to a desk job by NHS for the same offense. Uh, Gary McFarlane was sacked by Relate for refusing to counsel homosexuals, and Lillian uh, Lydette was disciplined after she declared she was not willing to do conduct same-sex civil partnerships in North London. I think there's another case with the male priest as well who was fired for not doing it. American Airlines boots family with down child from flight. So, um, you know, you know, there's so many requirements now to be able to travel by plane. They're making it harder and harder and all that stuff you have to go through. But now you can't even take your child with Down syndrome or even probably autism. So this Church of Scientology Open Center in Israel. So the religion already has several thousand followers in Israel. And I don't really cover religion a lot. Um, 
that's why I'm covering it in this video. I figured I'd just get it out of the way. Christians disrespected in Christ's motherland from September 3rd after the Arab Spring and life, uh, the life in a number of countries in the Middle East became dramatically more extreme in Iraq, Egypt, Syria. Christians, it became very hard for them. So how are they in Israel? Israeli experts interviewed by a reporter, the G Times said that Natiana's words of free exercise of Christianity in Israel were, to say the least, wishful thinking, and that Natiana is a pathological liar. He says there is discrimination against Christians in all areas. One man was ba uh, basically accused of baptizing his child or children, was deported from Israel. He says that according to Israeli law, a converted Jew has no right to rep, uh, repatriation, so Christians have to deny their faith when entering the country or renounce Christ. Uh, it even goes so far as to say that uh, Christians' parents of Jews are not allowed to teach their children faith. If they do, the authorities have the right to take away custody of their children from the parents as it's considered child abuse. And this company's on the defense, of course, because the media is, uh, you know, it's uh, very... Zion is friendly, so it's United Church of Canada defends the decision to boycott Israeli products, and they they were doing this because the uh, products, the goods produced in Israeli settlements were uh, located within occupied Palestinian territories. So, like Chick Fil A, right? They have to answer to the to the media. They have to answer to them because the media are just, you know, they're just so neutral, right? <laughs> they're looking out for people's rights. Pro-abortion Democrats scream at 11-year-old girl, pro-life girl, at a convention. So, this girl, Zoe, joined her mother and her friends to lay thousands of roses outside the site of the Democratic convention and pray for the babies, the politicians in this generation. Uh, but basically, there was this one uh, individual, a pro-abortion activist, to son Sarah Taylor. So you go, I guess she went on there and started um, uh, bash her, and he goes on and says, that uh, she claims to be a, uh, against the degradation of women. She's an anti-porn activist. Apparently, they were holding signs and chanting, and this girl says, a baby's not a baby. Well, she didn't say this, but these people that were holding signs said, uh, a baby's not a baby till it comes out, and that's what birthdays are all about. Blowing whistles and jumping around, acting like five-year-old children. I was so sad that these people were so blinded, I started crying. It's crazy. The woman saw her cry and said, you're making uh, this girl cry with your bullshit. So, there you go. And then here we go with double standards. And that man charged in shooting at conservative group headquarters had ammo, Chick-fil-A sandwiches in bags. So, that's what I was talking about with Chick-fil-A having to answer to the media about their uh, their uh, kind of stance on uh, gay marriage and that. He says, I don't like your politics. That's I guess that's what he said before he went into the research council that advocates faith, family, and freedom in public policy and public opinion. But this is their stance. I mean, this is the eugenicist. Killing babies no different from abortion, experts say. Parents should be allowed to have their newborn babies killed uh, because they are morally irrelevant and ending their lives is no different to abortion. A group of medical ethicists, so that it's ethical thing to do, says the eugenicist at Oxford University. They are not actual persons. Well, we're not persons. A person is a is a corporate entity, a corporation. Um, you know, none of us we're, we're human beings, right? With souls. Well, some of us, at least, we think we are. Uh, but uh, like apparently, these babies are not actual human beings, living people. And they have no moral right to life. So that was just a couple months ago. George orders sex change for Massachusetts murder convict. Federal judge on Tuesday ordered state prison officials to provide a taxpayer-funded reassignment. Sexual reassignment. So it's like the military. You're being reassigned, right, uh, to a different unit. Uh, surgery to a transgender inmate serving life in prison for murder. So they probably, it says here, I was born as a man, received hormone treatments, and lives as a woman in an all-male prison. So you don't want them to be discriminated against. So Brazil to provide free sex change operations. This is from 2007, but you'll find articles from this year uh, covering as well. Brazil's saying that uh, it's a basically what constitutes saying it's a basic human right. So they call it what? Sexual, repro uh, sexual uh, reproductive health care. They call it health care. A flasher's sex change operation means he is now a she. So I'm not really sure what a flasher means. I don't know if it's just like it's the opposite of a, a girl that flashes her um, her breast. A guy flashes his uh, 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 package or something. But he will not have to uh, undergo group sex offending treatment handed down as part of his punishment because he is now a she. So 
But in what is believed to be a legal first, the terms of his punishment have been changed after gender reassignment made him a woman. So I don't know if there was much change there. <laughs> Ouch, man. Larry Wachowski, transgender, Matrix director, reveals transition to Lana Wachowski. So I remember this, so I thought I'd include it in this report from uh, July 31st, basically August of this year. Let's talk about the Matrix director. Apparently in 2003, a date Wachowski took to the Cannes Festival told British tabloids that the director was a cross-dresser. So that's how it all starts, right? Oh, I'm a cross-dresser now. Ooh, I was a he, now I'm a she. So, ooh, see, cross-dressing, right? Sending mixed signals, especially from a father. Uh, it says here, dad protects son from bullies. So he's protecting his son from the bullies by wearing a skirt. Guess what? Well, it works. Well, it doesn't work because he's going to go and he's going to get the shit beat out of him. I'm not condoning violence. I'm just, you know how children are. They can be vicious, just like adults can be vicious. A German dad has become a role model not only for his son, but for the parents around the entire world after this photograph surfaced on the Internet. So then we have uh, Brazil accepts three-person civil union. Man and two women have li lived together for three years, reports the BBC. So they say the official who proved the union says, we're not only recognizing that it has always existed, we're not inventing anything, for better or worse, uh, we consider a family before isn't necessarily what we consider a family today. So, see, it's changing, see? Lawyer who vows to fight the decision, it's absurd and totally illegal, something completely unacceptable, which goes against Brazilian values and Christian, but, you know, mostly Christian uh, morals. So, crazy what's going on in Brazil, because you saw that 85%, right? Uh, you know, believe in uh, God and that. But they're doing free sex change operations. They have the... Um, uh, they had the the Brazil had the the sex sex worker not sex workers but uh, whatever it was the sex walk you know where we're for women's rights and they were bearing breasts and stuff like that <laughs> you know it's just again mixed signals regret after female sterilization among low income women in Brazil so this is from ninety two when hundreds of women got sterilized seventeen almost twenty percent said they now regretted their decision in low income areas remember that. Rosie O'Donnell reveals she has been married for two months. So this is, again, programming, icons, entertainment, which is for pushing the social agenda. Just like Wachowski, they didn't say it before because, what, everything is escalating fast. It's moving fast, 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 which is now, what, the new normal. That's why they push this bullshit. So it says here, Utah affiliate axes, gay theme, uh, NBC sitcom, the Mormon-owned stations move blankly homophobic. So anything that uh, is against this new normal, this social agenda by the um, by the social engineers uh, to basically corrupt, kill, and control society is, uh, is uh, you know, you're homophobic, you're anti some Madonna sued over gay rights stance by Russian campaigners, so... Uh, she knew what she was doing. I covered this before. Uh, she had been warned with words that she would behave in line with the law, and she ignored it. So, performed in black lingerie with the words "No Fear" scrawled on her back. I don't know if it was back or backside. Then we have uh, six facts about Jennifer Coolidge, A.K.A. Stifler's mom. Well, one of them is is that what from American Pie it was about a cougar, right? A uh, young guy with older women, and she got a lot of dates because of that movie. And then, I don't know what you call the opposite of this, but a woman, 23, was uh, basically uh, charged with disrupting a flight, which isn't the point, in an argument with her 69-year-old Canadian Senator Hubby. So, you know, wow. And no little monsters. Uh, Russia, again, MP urges underage ban for Lady Gaga gigs. She's one of the biggest programmers for this. She may actually come out to be a hermaphrodite or some sex change. She's really a man, eventually going to dupe a lot of people if not she's definitely pushing uh, a social agenda here Sp uh, spring breakers clip good girls gone bad so again you know the good girls gone bad by the police state uh, and uh, barely wearing anything this is from pravda or russia news source europe turns into a sea of sodom Sodom and uh, gomorrah i believe it is talking about civil partnerships yeah actually in the eu observer they actually say that in order to become an mp the europe you know eu mp in that representative of parliament you have to be on board with this so if you're against it you may not get elected tv audiences relax views on sex there has been a decline in concern about the amount of sex violence nudity and swearing on television figure show big time programming icon who shaved her head because she was fighting the program is now back in the business in a nude bodysuit so is it a new trend well, it goes on and says, oops, I did it again. That's right. She's not that innocent. She's a bad girl. We were just talking about the cracking down after the, quote, Arab Spring, the Western hijack regime change in Iraq and Egypt. 
they put Muslim extremists in charge. Now they say, ooh, the young Iraqis face religious fashion crackdown. Egypt's first veiled Newcaster stirs debate. The West and the Zionist media pushed this Arab Spring and they got what they wanted. And now they're going to sweep in like they're going to be the protectors. While at the same time they ignore real oppression. Thank you.